to The Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. On tonight's programme, our five contenders will answer questions on the search for new plants, a notorious royal mistress, the captain who led perhaps the most important scientific expedition in history, the king who was invited back to take up his throne, and a musical genre from the Deep South. This is, of course, a semi-final, so the winner is only a step away from becoming the owner of this famous glass bowl and, most importantly, the title of Mastermind Champion. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Alan Keyes. Your occupation? Retired school teacher. And your chosen subject? The life of Charles II. The exiled king who came back and led the Reformation. In 90 seconds, here we go. What was the name of the wood where Charles hid in an oak tree after his defeat at the Battle of Worcester in 1651? Boscobel Wood. Yep, Charles told the story of his escape after the Battle of Worcester to a diarist on his voyage back to England at the Restoration. Which diarist? John Evelyn. Samuel Pepys. The initials of Charles's closest advisor could be arranged to spell the word cabal. Which duke was represented by the letter L? Um, Laura Neal. Yes. What name is given to Charles's attempt to escape from the Scottish Covenanters at Perth in 1650? The New Start. Yes, the start. In 1662, Charles granted a charter to a group of scientists, which included Sir Isaac Newton. What name was given to the group? Um, the Royal Society. Yes. To which city did Charles and his court move in 1665 when the plague hit London? He summoned Parliament to the city in October. Oxford. Yes. In a secret treaty with France in 1670, Charles stated his intention to declare his conversion to Roman Catholicism at a time of his choosing. Which treaty? The Treaty of Dover. Yep. Who was the instigator of the Popish plot of 1678, a supposed Roman Catholic conspiracy to kill King Charles? He was Hated. assisted by Israel Tong. Uh, Titus Oates. Yes. What name is used for the only act passed by the Parliament that sat in 1679? The act was concerned with the unlawful detention of prisoners. Habeas Corpus. Yes. One of the King's nicknames was taken from the name of a stallion in the Royal Stud. What was it? Old Rowley. Yep. What was the name of the plot in 1683 whose members planned to kill Charles and his brother James as they returned to London from Newmarket? The Rye House Plot. The Rye House Plot is correct. No passes, Alan. You've scored ten points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is... Helen O'Connell. Your occupation? Gardener. And your chosen subject? Plant hunters. Plant hunters. The European botanists often risk their lives searching for new plant species. In 90 seconds, starting now, which nursery founded in Exeter employed E.H. Wilson and the Lobb brothers as plant hunters? Feech. Yep. In which Himalayan kingdom that became a British protectorate did Joseph Hooker gather plants, particularly rhododendrons? Sikkim. Yep. What genus of plants, also known as spiderwort, is named after an English naturalist and his son who brought the type species to England in 1629? Tridiscantia. Yes. Which botanist, born in Prague, travelled through Latin America and discovered more than 800 species of orchid, with several named in his honour? Benedict Russell. Yes. A plant belonging to a genus of orchid discovered by William Swainson in 1818 was rediscovered in the Brazilian state of Pernambuco in 1899. What genus? Cypripedium? No, Cattleya. Which Swedish botanist and plant hunter devised the formal two-part naming system used to classify plants and other life forms? Linnaeus. Yes. What species of lily was E. H. Wilson collecting in 1910 when his leg was crushed by a boulder in an avalanche? Regal lily. Yes. Which botanist who accompanied George Vancouver on his voyage around the world in the 1790s introduced the monkey puzzle tree to England? Archibald Menzies. Yep. David Nelson, the botanist on HMS Bounty, collected over a thousand specimens of a tree in Tahiti for transport to the West Indies. What tree? Breadfruit. Yes. On which island was David Douglas gored to death by a bull in 1834? Hawaii. Yes. E. H. Wilson was a collector for an arboretum at Harvard University for several years and became its keeper in 1927. Which arboretum? Arnold. Yes. What is the generic name of the pitcher plants that became popular in Victorian collections of curiosities after species were brought back from Southeast Asia? Nepenthes. Yes, indeed. No passes, Helen. 11 points. Thank you. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name? 
name is? Sean Climo. Your occupation? Tax advisor. And your chosen subject? Uh, Delta Blues Music. The sound of the Mississippi Delta, which started in the early part of the last century. 90 seconds, starting now. In which American state did Robert Johnson complete his first three recording sessions in November 1936? Texas. Yep, which Delta bluesman regularly played on the street in Chicago and was recorded there on his 1964 album Live on Maxwell Street? B.B. King. Robert Nighthawk. In 1961, Bob Dylan recorded Fixin' to Die Blues on his first album. Which Delta bluesman had originally written it? Bucker White. Yep. In which Mississippi city in Cahoma County is the Delta Blues Museum located? Clarksdale. Yes. What name did Sun House, Willie Brown and Charlie Patton give themselves when they briefly formed a gospel singing trio in 1933? The Locust Ridge Saints. Yep. Which Delta Blues singer first recorded the tracks Canned Heat Blues and Alcohol and Jake Blues? Tommy Johnson. Yep. What fashionable make of car did Robert Johnson refer to in his first released record? Terraplane. Yes. What was the name of the song that Muddy Waters recorded during his early sessions as a Delta bluesman? He remade it later in his career as I Can't Be Satisfied. I Be Troubled. Yes. Charlie Patton's first recording session produced Pony Blues. What was the B side to the song when it was released in 1929? Shake It and Break It. No, Banty Rooster Blues. The song That's All Right, made famous by Elvis Presley, was originally recorded by which Delta bluesman? Arthur Crudup. Yep. What is the title of the song recorded by Robert Johnson that contains the lyrics If I can't find her on Philippines Island, she must be in Ethiopia somewhere? Sweet Home Chicago. No, I believe I'll dust my broom. Which bluesman settled in Como, on the border of the Delta, but unlike many of his peers, never recorded in the 1920s or 30s and was only discovered in 1959? Uh, Mississippi John Hurt. It was Fred McDowell, Mississippi Fred McDowell. Uh, no passes, Sean, you've scored eight points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Lena Gazy. Your occupation? Retired. And your chosen subject? Lily Langtry. The uh, promiscuous actress who had a penchant for princes in 90 seconds. Here we go. Lily first met her future husband, Edward Langtry, when he attended the wedding of one of her brothers to Elizabeth Price. Which brother? William. Yep. Langtry was paid £132, a reference to her weight at the time, to endorse a product advertised in the Illustrated London News. What product? Pear soap. Yes. Langtry first met the Prince of Wales when she went with her husband to a party hosted by which polar explorer? Alan Young. Yep. In what play did she make her debut on the West End stage? She played the part of Kate Hardcastle. She stoops to conquer. Yep. During a visit to Paris in 1879, the Prince of Wales is reported to have publicly kissed Langtry while he was dancing at which restaurant? Maxime's. Yep. What race did Langtry's horse Merman win in 1897 that brought her prize money of £120,000? The Cesarovich. Yes. What name the Indian for flirt did Langtry give to the personal rail carriage that she had built for her travels in America? Lali. Yep. The prince wanted a house far away from London where he could spend time with Langtry. In which south coast resort did he build the red house for her? Bournemouth. Yes. What name is given to the scene from the heart of Midlothian for which Langtry posed for Sir John Millay? Pass. Which of the Prince of Wales' cousins had an affair with Langtry and is generally accepted as the father of her daughter, Jean-Marie? Louis Battenberg. Yes. What is the title of Langtry's autobiography that was published in 1925 when she was 72 years old? The Days I Knew. Yes. What was the name of the 22-year-old American who had inherited a fortune from his father with whom Langtry had an affair when she was 29? Frederick Gebhardt. Indeed, that is correct. Uh, you had one pass. The name given to the scene from the heart of Midlothian was... Effie Deans, or Effie Dean. You have scored, Lena, 11 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. <laughs> and your name is? Derek Caldwell. Occupation? Indexer. And your chosen subject? Robert Fitzroy. The captain of the ship that took Charles Darwin on his historic voyage. In 90 seconds, here we go. Fitzroy took command of the Beagle in 1828. With which larger sister ship was she engaged in charting the coasts of southern South America? 
the adventure. Yep. The use of what term for a weather map containing an overview for a given area at a given time is attributed to Fitzroy? Synoptic. Yes, synoptic chart. What is the name of the hydrographer to the Admiralty who played a part in arranging for Charles Darwin to accompany Fitzroy on his second voyage in the Beagle? Beaufort. Yep. What nickname did Fitzroy and the rest of the crew give Darwin during their voyage together? Philosopher. Yes, or Philos. To what Royal Navy rank was he promoted in December 1834? The rank is now obsolete. Midshipman. Post-captain. Fitzroy carried four young natives from Tierra del Fuego back to England on his first voyage on the Beagle. What name was given to the female member of the group? Fuego Basket. Yes. What is the name of the ship from which he first sighted the coast of South America as a young midshipman? Owen Glendower. Yes. Fitzroy carried out a survey of a British river when he was appointed its acting conservator in 1842. Which river? Mersey. Yep. In August 1844, during his time as Governor of New Zealand, Fitzroy antagonised the white settlers by returning a settlement in the Taranaki region to the Maoris. What settlement? New Plymouth. Yes. Of what ship was Fitzroy appointed captain in 1849? It was the Royal Navy's first screw-propeller-driven vessel. Arrogant. Yep. Fitzroy devised a diagrammatic system for recording weather observations. What did he call his diagrams that divided the ocean into 10 degree squares? Wind stars. Yes. What was his official title when he took up an appointment with the new meteorological office in August 1854? Meteorological statist. Is correct. No passes, Derek. You have scored 11 points. <laughs> so that is the end of our first round, a very high scoring round, and we now move on to the general knowledge round. And it is time, therefore, to ask our five semi finalists to join us again together in the studio. And at this stage in the contest, the five do not know how each other has performed in the first round. So let's put them out of their misery now and tell them. In fifth place, eight points, Sean. Fourth place, ten points, Alan. Joint first place, 11 points apiece, Helen, Lena and Derek. So oh, they will now each get two minutes of questions on their general knowledge. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes will be the winner. So let them be warned. Let's go on with it and ask Sean to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with uh, eight points, Sean. Not a big gap. Plenty of time to make it up. Here we go with two minutes of general knowledge. What is the name of the legendary castle where King Arthur held his court? Camelot. Yep, London's a light, unsweetened and very dry type of spirit. It's used in mixed drinks. What spirit? Gin. Yep. Who plays the evil white witch Jadis in the film The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? Pass. In which country is the Temple of the Tooth at Candy that houses the sacred relic said to be a canine tooth of the Buddha? Nepal. Sri Lanka. What type of traditionally English sandwiches are a favourite of Lady Bracknell in Oscar Wilde's play The Importance of Being Earnest? Cucumber. Yes. What French term, which means uncooked, is now sometimes used to mean naked? Uh, pass. In which country is Mount Chimborazo, whose summit is the furthest point on the Earth's surface from the Earth's centre because of the equatorial bulge? Tanzania. Ecuador. The inspiration for a famous children's book came from the author's memory of being given chocolate products to test out while he was at Repton School. Who was the author? Rodar. Yes. What breed of dog is the cartoon character Scooby-Doo? A Great Dane. Yes. In Norse mythology, what's the name of the place where the gods live? It contains the feasting hall Valhalla. Pass. What famous artefact is thought to have been commissioned by Bishop Odo, the half-brother of William the Conqueror? Pass. Which small variety of chicken shares its name with a former port in Java where it's thought to have been first brought to Europe? Bantam. Yep. After the 2017 general election, Theresa May concluded a confidence and supply agreement to help keep her minority party in power with which Northern Ireland political party? The DUP. Yes. Paul Moriarty, his brother Richard and his son Ross have all played rugby union for which UK country? Wales. Yes. Which composer described his fifth symphony, first performed in 1937, as a Soviet artist's practical creative reply to just criticism? Shostakovich. Yep. Which ancient city in Crete, the centre of the Minoan civilization, was excavated by Sir Arthur Evans in the early 20th century? 
Knossos. Correct. Members of which warrior class rose up against the Japanese government in 1877 in what was known as the Satsuma Rebellion after the area of Japan where the revolt took place? Samurais? Yes. Correct. Four passes, Sean. It was the Bayer Tapestry that Bishop Odo commissioned. Asgard is the name of the place where the gods live in Norse mythology. The French term meaning uncooked, au naturel, and Tilda Swinton played Jadis. Sean, you have scored 19 points. <laughs> and now, Alan, again, please. And uh, you have ten points in the bag, Alan. Nineteen, as you've just heard, is the score to beat. Here we go with your general knowledge. What alternative name for the devil comes from the Hebrew for Lord of Flies? Um, Be Belzebub. Yes. Who was knighted in 1997 and retired the same year after 50 years broadcasting as the voice of racing? Uh, Peter O'Sullivan. Yep. Which legendary beauty has been played by Hedy Lamarr in the 1954 film The Loves of Three Queens, by Elizabeth Taylor in the 67 film Dr Faustus, and Diane Kruger in 2004? Helen of Troy. Yep. Certain species of a seabird have been trained by fishermen, especially in China, to catch fish for them. What bird? Uh, Gallimot. Cormorant. Which city was originally built on the Rialto Islands, a small archipelago at the northern end of the Adriatic Sea? Venice. Yep. Which book that consists of 21 verses is the shortest book in the Old Testament? Uh, Mika. Obadiah. Sir Malcolm Arnold won an Academy Award for the score of an epic 1957 war film that features the Colonel Bogey March. What's the title of the film? Bridge Over the River Kwai. Correct. Who co-wrote the 2018 novel The President is Missing with James Patterson? Um... James Smith. Bill Clinton. The amount of the deposit a candidate must put up to stand in a parliamentary election was raised by the 1985 Representation of the People Act from £150 to how much? £250. £500. The soldier and statesman credited with founding the modern Turkish state assumed what name, meaning father of the Turks, in 1934? Ataturk. Yep. Robert Fripp, Greg Lake and Ian MacDonald were among the original lineup of a group when it was formed in 1969. What group? Led Zeppelin. King Crimson. In 1934, which gangster named Public Enemy No. 1 by the FBI is said to have been lured to a cinema in Chicago by a lady in red and shot by federal agents? Um, Al Capone. John Dillinger. The first printed edition of a collection of sonnets published in 1609 is dedicated to Mr. W. H., whose identity is uncertain. Whose collection? Uh, Shakespeare's. Is correct. No passes, Alan. You have scored 17 points. Yeah, okay. And now, Helen, again, please. And you are one of three, Helen, who starts out this round with 11 points. The score to beat, as we speak, is 19. Okay. Here we go. Which German chemist's name is used for a type of gas burner commonly used in school labs? Bunsen. Yep. Who was nominated for a Best Actor Oscar for his performance as Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind? Clark Gable. Yep. Gifts made of China are traditionally given in the UK on what wedding anniversary? 10th. 20th. Which character first appears as a baby in J.M. Barrie's 1902 novel The Little White Bird? Peter Pan. Yep. In what athletics field event did the Ukrainian Sergei Bubka excel? He broke his own world record many times during the 80s and 90s. Pole vault. Yes. In which Asian capital of the Petronas Twin Towers they were declared the world's tallest buildings when they were topped off in 1996? Kuala Lumpur. Yes. Which conductor, composer and pianist came to prominence when he acted as a stand-in to conduct the New York Philharmonic Orchestra in November 1943? Leonard Bernstein? Yes, who created the fictional diarist Adrian Mole, who first appeared in a Radio 4 play in 1984, was originally called Nigel. Sue Townsend? Yep. What term is used for the process by which red wine or port is slowly poured from one container to another to separate the liquid from the sediment? Decanting? Yep. Which Gilbert Sullivan opera has the alternative title The Last That Loved a Sailor? HMS Pinfall. Yes. Who stood as a Liberal candidate for the last time at Leicester West in 1923? He re-entered Parliament as a Constitutionalist in 24, then formally rejoined the Conservative Party. Winston Churchill. Yep. In which 2018 television series does Nicola Walker play Hannah Stern, a leading divorce lawyer who leaves the family firm for a rival, throwing her relationship into turmoil in the process? 
the divorce. The split, a traditional English ceremony usually performed at Rogation Tide, gets its name from the practice of striking various landmarks around a parish's perimeter with sticks and is known as beating the... Bounds. Yes. Abyssinia was the former name of which modern-day country? Ethiopia. Yes. What term for a person who controls another's mind, usually with sinister intentions, comes from the name of the evil hypnotist in Georges du Maurier's novel Trilby? Svengali. Yes. One of the three species of snake native to Britain gets its common name from the flat, even nature of its scales. Which species? Smooth snake. A smooth snake is correct. No passes. Helen, you have scored 25 points. <laughs> and now, Lena, again, please. And you're another one with 11 points, Lena. But, my golly, the score has... Shot up in the last couple of minutes. 25. Here's the score to beat. Here we go. Which flower do the Welsh traditionally wear in their buttonholes on St David's Day? Daffodils. Yep. Who was the Emperor of Japan from 1926 till his death in 89? He was the longest reigning monarch in Japanese history. Hirohito. Yes. What is the traditional English name of the cake that consists of a thin layer of sponge spread with jam or cream rolled up and served in circular slices? Swiss roll. Yes. Which football team, whose home strip is a yellow shirt and black shorts, are nicknamed the Hornets, although their back features a heart or male deer. Pass. What term is used for the performers who comment on the action in ancient Greek tragedy? It now means a group of singers, such as those who perform in an opera or with an orchestra. Chorus. Yeah. The opening chapter of which adventure novel is entitled The Old Sea Dog at the Admiral Benbow? Treasure Island. Yes. In what television quiz show hosted by Alexander Armstrong and Richard Osman are finalists presented with a coveted trophy, even if they don't win the money on offer? Pointless. Yep. In which Wagner opera is the title character challenged in a song contest to capture love in a single song? His song exalts the joys of the flesh, a crime for which he is exiled to Rome. Not sings of your book. No. Tannhäuser. Oh. Shannon Winslow's 2015 novel, Miss Georgiana Darcy of Pemberley, is one of a series of sequels to which novel? Pride and Prejudice. Yes. Which American folk singer and political activist had her first two UK single hits in 1965 with We Shall Overcome and There But For Fortune? Joan Byers. Yes. A member of Margaret Thatcher's cabinet, whom she repeatedly described as unassailable, resigned as Chancellor of the Exchequer in October 1989 after six years in the post. What is his name? Pass. Queen Victoria succeeded which king on his death in 1837? He was her uncle. William IV. Yes. What name for a non-conformist chapel comes from that of a pool in Jerusalem, where Jesus is said to have healed a man on the Sabbath? It's also the name of a quarry town in North Wales that grew around its chapel. Bethesda. Yes. Which 2001 animated film is mainly set in Duloc, a place in which all fairy tale characters have been banished? No, I can tell you then. Shrek. Your other passes, Lena, that Chancellor was Nigel Lawson and the football team in the yellow and black was Watford. You have scored a total now, Lena, of 21 points. <laughs> and finally, Derek again, please. And another 11-pointer, Derek. And still 25 is the score to beat, so here we go. Your chance to be in the final coming up. Which public school gives its name to a dessert of whipped cream, pieces of meringue and strawberries mixed together? Ethan. Yep. Which blonde actress plays Lorelei oh. Lee in the 1953 Howard Hawks film Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? Marilyn Monroe. Yep. The cult of a god of probable Persian origin was prevalent in Roman legions till it was replaced by Christianity in the 4th century. Temples for his worship have been found in London and on Hadrian's Wall. Which god? Mithras. Yes. In which American state does an annual dog sled race take place each March along the Iditarod Trail between Settlers Bay and Nome? Alaska. Yes. What word for an attic room originally meant a turret or watchtower? Garrett. Yes. An Austrian-born conductor who became the principal conductor of the Berlin Philharmonic in the 1950s joined the Nazi party in 1933 but was discharged by the Austrian Denazification Commission after the end of the war. Who was he? Pass. In which sport was Rianne Evans the ladies' world champion for a record 10 years in succession from 2005-2014? Cycling. 
Snooker. Which publishing house established in 1908 specialises in romantic fiction and takes its name from the surnames of its two founders? Mills and Boone. Yes. The name of what genus of garden shrub comes from the Greek for water vessel, a reference to the cup-like shape of its seed pods? Pass. Braden's Week was the forerunner of a long-running consumer affairs television programme hosted by Esther Ranson. Which programme? Pass. The roots of what plant are used with burdock to make a soft drink known in Britain since about 1265? Dandelion. Yep. Which singer had the last of three UK number one singles with Goody Two Shoes in 1982? The first two were recorded with a band. Adamant. Yep. In which country in North Africa did Habib Bourguiba serve as the first president from its independence from France in 1957 to 1987 when he was replaced in a constitutional coup? Tunisia. Yes. What work begun by Samuel Johnson in 1746 took him eight years to complete? Dictionary. Here's Dictionary of the English Language. That is correct. Uh, you had three passes. Braden's Week was the forerunner to That's Life. The Hydrangea is the Greek water vessel plant. And the chap who became principal conductor of the Berlin Philharmonic was Herbert von Karajan. Derek, you have scored 21 points. And that means that tonight's winner is Helen, and she is the last semi-finalist to go through to the grand final. What a keenly fought contest. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fifth place, 17 points, Alan. Fourth place, 19 points, Sean. Joint second place, 21 points apiece, Lena and Derek. First place with a whopping 25 points, Helen. So, of course, Helen goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender on the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for the grand final. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.